Hi everybody. Because this last week of the month looks really rather intense, and we do have a full moon in Aquarius on July 22nd, I thought that I'd do a special video showing how this all fits together and how we might work with the energies of these aspects. So, as you know, we've got Uranus in Aries. Certainly you Arians are going to know that your, many of you, your lives have been shaken up. And we've got in square aspect, what is known as, well, as a square, it's a red line here. It's a difficult aspect to Pluto in Capricorn. So these guys are not terribly friendly with each other. But what's happening um, towards the end of this month is that Mars goes into Cancer. Now, and also making a square to Uranus and an opposition to Pluto. So these three are not the happiest bedmates together, and particularly Mars going into Cancer. Um, Mars likes to be active. Yeah, Mars is a, is a red. It's ruled by Aries, actually. So Mars wants to do things. Wants to be proactive. Whereas Mars in Cancer has to consider everybody else. Has to think of, has to be more patient, has to be more compassionate. And when you get Mars square to Uranus, you may find that you're reacting to things. And then let's add what else is going on here is we've got Jupiter also in Cancer. Yeah, so we've got a lot of Cancer energy in here. And remember, Jupiter enlarges whatever it touches. So this Mars energy. If you're feeling frustrated, Jupiter will add to that. But if you're able to be compassionate and put yourself in somebody else's shoes, then Jupiter will give you even more compassion. Um, so it's certainly an intense aspect that we've got going on. Because the um, full moon in Aquarius, full moon here, in Aquarius um, is opposite the Sun just going into Leo. Not going off. So we've got the Sun in Leo here and the Moon in Aquarius over here. When it's a full moon they're always opposite each other. And Leo and Aquarius are the fun planets. Let's have fun. Let's with, with, the, with the full moon in Aquarius that's um, let's do things together. Let's meet friends. It's a wonderful time to come up with new ideas, to do something for your community, to, to find members of your tribe and get together and celebrate. And then we've got this sun just in Leo. It's at 0 degrees, this um, uh, full moon. So it's new beginnings. How can I be more creative? What's my unique contribution? What am I about? Where do I shine? And at the same time, what is my place within the community, my friends, the people I'm with? So these are things to look at. You know, how can I be different? But at the same time, where do I fit in? It's also a good time for volunteering. Remember that Mercury is direct. Saturn is also direct. And we'll come to Saturn in a minute because uh, there's so much going on, which is why I wanted to do this special video. Um, so, what's happening is that Saturn is square to this energy of the Sun and Moon. We've got Saturn here in Scorpio. So we've got more squares going on, <laughs> albeit not very long because Sun and Moon move quickly, but we've got the squares from this full Moon to this Saturn. So what does that mean? Does that mean we can't party so much? Well, no, but it means that we mustn't lose our focus. Saturn is always here to show us, in fact, the way, the structure, is the physical way. Neptune gives us our dreams and where we'd like to be, but Saturn says, um, excuse me a minute, uh, are you in a job that you really hate? Do you need to make some changes here? Are you in a relationship that's past its sell-by date? 
Is there a friendship that might be past its sell-by date? Or do you just need to move on? But Saturn wants you to give some thought and some focus into your creative energies. So for myself, in my chart, it's in my sixth, it's rule of my sixth house. So it's going to be about my work. So um, how can I be more creative? So what I've been doing lately is I've been studying origami, which I love because of all the colours. And I'm going to learn origami to do all the astrology signs and then I'm going to do some astrology origami cards, which I'll let you know when I've learned it. But this is a way to use the Saturn structure to do something practical with the vibrations of this Sun, Moon, uh, Full Moon, Aquarius and Leo. So um, try to remember that this is a very intense time. As you can see, we've got a lot of intensity going. But do keep in mind, folks, that we have the backdrop still of the grand trine going on in water. So we've got the trine from Neptune to Saturn, and Neptune bringing in this trine energy. So we've got trines, and we've got all these squares going on. So you can go into the trine, and relax and just go with the flow a little bit and maybe not be quite so focused. Allow yourself to think of the things that you want to create, to visualize. This Neptune energy should be giving you a lot of visualizing ability. Use it. Visualize. Go and be by water. Especially those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, many of you have got nice weather now. Go and be by the water. Relax by a river, a lake, the sea, wherever you are, because this will help you to tune into the vibrations of this grand trine. And try and, and see here that this Jupiter-Mars conjunction here um, will give you the opportunity to connect with people in a family-like way, to see people as family, not to see them as strangers anymore, but to see them um, as members of your family. I certainly see that when I think of you when I'm doing these videos. Um, I'm feeling the connection with all of you. I feel it in my heart. And particularly with this Mars-Jupiter coming along, um, I want to do that more proactively in my life generally. So, there you have it. Enjoy the partying element of it, but try to bring some structure into your creativity. Make it real. Saturn wants you to make things real. And try not to get too frustrated when you want to feel maybe you want to react to an old issue that may come back up in your life or something you've been trying to deal with. Try to just take a deep breath and maybe go for a walk or do something different. Take your mind off it for a little while and then come back and try and tackle things with more compassion than you might otherwise have had. Because words are very powerful. Once the words are out, words can really hurt. So I'm not saying to hold things in, because cancer does tend to hold things in. All I'm saying with cancer is just kind of sidestep things. Be the crab and sidestep. You don't have to meet things full on. You can just come from a different and new perspective. So everybody, I wish you a very happy, Full moon in Aquarius, and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.